Hi guys, and welcome to another review of Uzalo. So previously, when Amos and last number were about to leave Kwamashu to Mozambique, they came, up, they came across a roadblock, guys. A roadblock here in Queens. <laughs> Amos kept telling Ola's number to keep driving, but they had nowhere to go. And Onjaza was somehow happy to see that uh, someone came to their rescue. Ola's number noticed that Onjaza was smiling, pointed a gun on him and said, I hope you did not sell us. But Onjaza said, no, I did not. Mugunzi shouted, last number and Amos, your time is up. Ola's number said to Amos, let me just blow the brains out but oh almost said no if you start shooting now we will never make it out of this alive when just tried running away but uh our last number hit him with the gun and he passed out anyway guys moving forward to the police station our captain reprimanded his staff at abamla lily so he was calling them off on their behavior our captain shouted at monthly saying monthly is always disrespecting him he doesn't attack his others he was shouting as like he was shouting it was mad but our monthly said no i'm just trying to protect lives here our monthly said that the reason why he's sometimes Times doesn't listen to you, okay. Ten angatat am order order swag is because okay. Ten does not listen to them. So Omotli told him that the only thing he cares about Yana is to catch criminals who are out there roaming out in the streets. And said we know Ogutuno Sipo was kidnapped and we can't drag our feet. What if they kill her? You know. But okay. Ten was not having it, guys. He had ordered Omotli to go do his work and stop following on, on this lead that was it was the catalog gave her i think this lead could put other office uh like office pol uh, police officers in danger umonly said in no way i am going to follow on a lead that was a catalog has given me like guys it was bad it was like he was scared anyway guys back to the roadblock road the roadblock or oh, almost and last number started um arguing since last number wanted to shoot but almost said no don't do that but Ulas number doesn't listen guys he started shooting the like he started shooting there and there and then Unkunzi and his crew shot back like go by action movie guys like there were gunshots left right and center <laughs> This boy was shot in the behind, guys, and I screamed like a little boy. Like you, it was just funny. Anyway, guys, <laughs> back to the police station. Oh, Captain had a chat with Ulili. He told uh, her that Ulili doesn't seem to be invested in this case. Yeah, guys. Captain asked what seemed to be the problem. Is it like I, I don't know? Good try, yo, guys. Because the day Captain finds out that Ulili knew all along that oh, Gabsila is the one who killed Ukesh and said nothing. Hmm. That will be the end of her career. So Ononga was trying to sell her snacks at church while well, people were buying guys like they were supporting her. But Ukapsile walked in and said, No, nah, not in my church. Who gave you permission to sell your things here? Like everyone told Ukapsile to come down because these kids are not breaking any law. But Ukabi said, No, not in my church. Ordered Ononga to pack her stock. You guys. Anyway. Back to the shooting range again. I don't know, is it the shooting range? <laughs> the, the roadblock. Let me say back to the roadblock. Ono Sipo fought oh, almost and managed to get off the car running to her mom. But last number shot her like, I, didn't, I don't know, twice or thrice. I didn't count. And then Oma Ngobo was screaming, no Sipo, no, no Sipo. No. Like he ran to Ono Sipo, Oma Ngobo. Well, last number saw a gap that he can also shoot Oma Ngobo. He was like, let me just shoot this switch. You know, but Uza Ketelo shot him first. I think Ola's number died on the spot yo guys it was just really action move i wonder uh what's going to happen well, almost now that he's left alone anyway guys uh thank you so much for watching i will see you on the next upload i love you bye